Hi, everyone. Good evening. This is CV Coach here. So glad to have you with me today. I hope everyone is okay and I hope you've had a great day. Why is emotional intelligence very important? Why is it important? Well, why is uh, why emotional intelligence is important is because um, is the maybe I say as I would say is the foundation of a lot of things we do. Why right? relationships are built on emotion, right? So, uh, it's, it's one of the key things that uh, control the way we relate. Um, it's about understanding yourself because when we look at emotional intelligence, what is it really, by the way, when we say emotional intelligence, we are talking about definition wise, you get a lot of definitions, um, about on your emotional intelligence, uh, but then uh, the goal man, uh, a lot of people who have worked on emotional intelligence have a lot of very nice definition that I use a common word from the Institute of Social and Emotional Intelligence, which is where I did my certification. This emotional intelligence is, you know, being aware or recognizing your emotion at the moment and that, and that of others are using that information to manage yourself and manage your relationships. So we see how the, the foundation he gives there. You begin to, when you talk about emotional intelligence, I'm talking about understanding yourself better, which surprisingly, you can't believe how many people don't know much about themselves. How did their upbringing, upbringing influence you up to today? A lot of people, that's why I see people having crises in life, whether marriage, school, a lot of things. A lot of them can be easy traced. It's just that people don't know, they don't seek for help, that marriage has broken, that child could not go to school. A lot of these are things that people can easily be guided. People are having challenge at work, emotional intelligence, if you guide them, then help them to find out whether they are the problem or the organization. A lot of times people are trying to solve problems outside, whereas they are the problem. And mm. if you don't have someone that can help you reflect inwards and say, okay, you are the problem, really. Can we help you here? And the problem may not necessarily be you. That's the way you are brought up. That's the way your education, the your profession has influenced you. Because if you deal with people, you see that what people do influence them, the way they do things. Just like I, I mm -hmm. told you earlier on, I yeah. kept the coaching from the background of certification. So everything I did, mm -hmm. I had to get certification for it. I have to train. Mm -hmm. A lot of people didn't do that. So, and this is the way mm -hmm. it is. If you're nice, it has an impact in your behavior, the way you reason. If I, if you're an accountant, a doctor, I deal with all these type of people. So when they, mm -hmm. when you start dealing with them, you see that their profession starts showing up in their behavior. But until you work with them closely and show them how those things are coming up in the way they do things, they wouldn't recognize it. They will not realize it. Some of them may think it's a problem, whereas it's just something that really, uh, growing up, this is the impact of uh, the way you were brought up. And then now this is the things you can change to adapt to the current situation where you are. So it's so important because it impacts you as an individual, it helps you understand more the, at least know yourself more know what the things you can do because uh, uh, the first area of emotional intelligence is what we call self-awareness you're beginning to look at your values your strengths areas you need to improve yourself all of those things come under emotional intelligence even making progress in life um <laughs> without looking into these areas you cannot do so much so wow so important man so it's, it's like it's like emotional intelligence like an all-rounder yes in other yeah in other words if like now i'm i'm going to speak to my maybe my team to say okay we want to bring you into coaches you're giving you're putting us on a pedestal of being able to, of high achievers exactly. so you're going okay wow yes so just to add yeah, to on. that Yes. Just add that before you you go on, right? So really, you know, when we a lot of uh, previously, what people know, uh, knew about was just uh, what we call um, um, uh, the intelligence, cognitive intelligence, which is where people are able to uh, know so much about mathematics. They are sharp, right? The smart, really. But then, emotional intelligence is another kind of smartness. So it's not a unitary figure like IQ, right? um intelligent quotient it's not a unitary figure where you say okay i score 60 or 120 or 150 no mission intelligence is uh, a collective word for you know a range of skills mm. right from self-awareness to you know conflict management to you know trust a lot of things come on diet but these are skills that you need for success in life skills skills you need to you know uh, help yourself
help the people, manage the people around you, and also make progress in any profession you are. Really, so it's not just one thing you say. Oh, um, I, I I have scored, you know, over hundred, well, more than hundred. I'm good at this. You always have yeah. room to improve. You might be very good at self awareness, but empathy. When it comes to empathy, you are zero. Even in empathy mm -hmm. alone, you have what we call cognitive empathy, emotional empathy, empathy concern. And I have observed somebody might be very high on their, you know, cognitive empathy, but you know, yeah. uh, <laughs> empathy concern, not good yeah. at it. So. You mm. always have room to get better. So, so, so much um, to talk about in emotional intelligence, wow. particularly the importance of it. Yeah. Hmm. This is this is interesting. You know, because yes. the, the the thing about it is this: eh? I I do yes. CV coaching, I do right. health and safety training. When people right. come to me and I train them or I coach them, I find that some of these guys came in from Africa with so much knowledge, India with so much knowledge. I've caught okay. somebody who was a health and safety inspector in India. Now, if you are a health and safety inspector in UK, you are up there. Anywhere uh -huh. you show or people are quivering because they know you know what you do. But when she came into right. UK, she lost that confidence. And I had to right. help her build up the confidence. She was working yes. in a store where they spill out the shares. I said, no, you can do something with your life. So in other yes. words, emotional intelligence if I bring it into my coaching or my CV a class, it will be my, my students will hit the top right there in their jobs. Absolutely. Because really, one of another area is uh, uh, self confidence, right? Uh, what you've said, self concept, which is the challenge, one of the biggest challenges we have in this society self concept, right? Uh, people's uh, Im image or impression about themselves. For instance, anybody that most people that come from Africa, depending on their you know, level of education, depending on their family status, a lot of them believe that people here are superior to them, right? Yeah. Which they may not exactly be so, because uh, some mm -hmm. of, some people who are well educated, read as 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 good as anybody you can find. In fact, some of them are much better, right? Yeah. So, but then there's this uh, there's this general concept or notion that maybe. It's if you are here in the UK, you know better. You know, until some of us came here and saw that maybe you know, them, some of them are not even as educated as we as we are. So, you, so that there's there's that level of uh, inferiority complex that come with such things. So when somebody is qualified over there and come here, you think that what they have is inferior to what you have here, unless they have self confidence. So really, part of the things we do is even coaching somebody on how to you know maintain confidence in going for interview. Mm -hmm. A lot of reasons why people don't get through an interview is. Not not because they are not good enough. It's the way they present themselves, the confidence level, you know, the way they react to maybe interviews, right? Even realizing that maybe you are going to panic and it's okay. And then you know how to control yourself in that situation and still maintain yeah. your composure. So all those small yes. things are things that help people and some of them fall under, or most of them, if not all of them, fall under, you know, emotional intelligence, some areas of emotional intelligence. But one of them, particularly with dealing with young young ones now, is what we call the self-concept, the image people have about themselves, you know, the mm -hmm. ability to believe in themselves and then accept themselves as opposed to what other people are saying about them right when we mm -hmm. talk about peer pressure that's one of those challenges if somebody's uh, uh, self-concept is not be well, properly developed they will just yeah. be going with if somebody say you're handsome that's fine if you, you're like they say somebody says something different you know you are depressed <laughs> yeah hmm. amazing man this is this is good this is a very good topic you see one of my students came to me and uh, he was introduced to me by somebody. When he came in, he was a child minder. He was right. he was receiving seven pounds fifty an hour. Oh. So when I when I saw him, I said, "What did you do?" He's got LLM in law, yeah. MMM or whatever in law. So he's got a first yeah. degree and a master's in law. And I said, "So," and he was born here. He schooled here, but he went to Nigeria. And I said, "What are you doing?" He said, "I'm a child minder." I said, child minder, I now coached him and worked with him on interviewing skills. Yeah. The guy went, he got a job in one month because I gave him that confidence. Yeah. Then after yeah. one month, he stayed in the job. He was there enjoying it. After a year, he called me just, uh, let me just say about a year and some months in his job. He called me and said, you know what, coach, I want to buy a house. I said, that's yeah. good. His salary went from £7.50 an hour to about £50,000 a year. 
yes. without bonus. Yeah. So, exactly. he, 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 yeah. Yeah, go on, sir. I want to hear you. You yeah. want to say something? Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He would have stayed all his life with all those degrees and blame the community and blame the society and blame everything around him. And, and this, that's, the, that's, that's why, really, I don't, I mean, I want to, uh, ways of reaching out to people out there, particularly, you know, certain ethnic uh, groups, right, that um, complain about, this, I mean, discrimination, um, a lot of things. A lot of times they just need little support. Right mm -hmm. to look into walls and change certain things about themselves to help them you know, move forward. I'm not saying that those things are not there, but um, one of the things we train people, see, irrespective of what is there, we show you how to navigate it. Particularly, the change can come from you if you can prepare yourself for that. It's very, very possible for you to move forward. Some people stay in one level of job, band six or whatever. That's the level, the highest they can go, maybe in a place like NHS. And they blame everyone around it, around them. But really, sometimes it may just be, they just need a little training to put them right. Just like what you said now, a lot of us have degrees, but then yeah. you know, if they don't have that confidence to go yeah. for interviews, how to manage interviews, even how to manage re the rejection, which is part of life. Uh, they don't move forward. You know, the fear of you know rejection has stop people from even attempting certain things. So that's it. That's a very classical example of how a lit such little support can help somebody. Particularly, you can imagine somebody that that educated. Yeah. Wow. Now, guys, I know so many questions are coming up now, and uh, you're going to see people in this uh, episode or in this program that uh, in this channel who. <laughs> Define all odds to become what they want to be, you know. Exactly. So make sure you get ready. I'll be right back after this short interlude.